Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, and today I'm going to be talking about the brand new 16-inch MacBook Pro, but there is one little issue with it I want to talk about. I did talk about it last week, but I didn't really do as much research into it as I should have done, but now I have, and I'm a little bit more armed with facts, and also the true nature of the problem where it occurs, where it doesn't occur. So uh, I want to very quickly demonstrate what I'm talking about before I go into it too much. Uh, the crux of the issue is that in multiple applications, in macOS on the 16 inch MacBook Pro, if you interrupt the audio, it causes this uh, unappealing popping sound when you pause it. And the most prominent application I found this to be an issue in is Final Cut Pro. So I will very quickly demonstrate this using one of the default tracks found within Final Cut Pro. So here we go. So you would have noticed that every time I paused it on a high wavelength, it caused this massive popping sound. Uh, if you think that was me clicking the mouse, it wasn't. I was doing tap to click, so there was no audio coming from me uh, clicking my laptop at all. That was all the distortion sound effect. And uh, the thing is, it depends on the application you're using uh, to determine how frustrating that is. Although it occurs in YouTube videos when you close down a tab, or sometimes, but not always, when you skip through a YouTube video, it will, um, you know, it's, it's annoying, but I suppose it's sparing because you're only doing that, say, every five minutes maximum, really, unless you like to hop between lots of YouTube videos or you'll skip between lots of YouTube videos. But in Final Cut Pro, when you come to edit stuff, obviously you are constantly jumping through the timeline and editing audio, at least I am, that's the way I edit. So it becomes incredibly distracting and uh, doesn't really hold up to the quality of the rest of the laptop, which is utterly fantastic. Um, so that is a bit annoying, and it seems to be something that affects multiple 16-inch machines, because this is something I was very careful to check before making the claim this time, was that this isn't just my machine, right? So I went back to the store I bought this from yesterday to basically return it for a working unit, but before I did that, I went around the demo units and I was able to replicate the issue on every single one which had Final Cut Pro installed. So I realized, okay, this is actually a software issue because it's affecting all of them. Well, either that or one of the uh, worst hardware oversights ever, but I think it's software. I'm almost certain it's software. Uh, so I didn't bother replacing my unit because I thought, well, there's no point because I'll just get exactly the same issue. And also I actually think my unit in any other, you know, every other respect is actually really good. So I want to hold on to it. And uh, I also went online, I went on Reddit, uh, some of the Mac forums, I was able to find multiple links and references to people who experienced this issue. Multiple people have uh, sent out some ideas for changing things like sample rate, but that doesn't seem to make a difference to me. So uh, there doesn't seem to be a clear way of fixing it, other than the hope that the more we talk about this, the more chance Apple will see it and then they will release a patch to fix it. I think that's going to happen, but of course it it is predicated on the idea that they are aware of it and they can't be aware of it if we don't make our voices heard on this. So I really do encourage you if you own a 16-inch MacBook Pro to just, if you've got Twitter or a Reddit account, whatever you have, just to make it known just so that it doesn't fly under the radar because the moment something becomes, you know, in the public eye, there's going to be a much greater pressure to fix it. But I will leave you all with, uh, if you have this issue, an actual way of working around it, uh, other than, of course, just wearing headphones, which does seem to fix it. But if you want to use the speakers like me, because that was one of the uh, advertised benefits of the 16-inch MacBook Pro, uh, there is a way you can get around it. So it's very simple. You simply open up QuickTime, go File, Start New uh, Audio Recording, and then you minimize it and then leave it there in the background running, although it's not actually recording anything, it's just ready to record something. And then you'll find that no application will give you this issue whatsoever.
it's kind of crazy and this is quite useful for me because it means that when I go to edit stuff like I might do with this video all I'm going to do is open up an audio recording window and just minimize it and then I will never have to deal with the problem at all it's actually quite a good fix even though it still certainly counts as a workaround and my suspicion for why this works is that um it's keeping at least one audio channel open, albeit in a muted state, because all the time that audio recording is up, it actually defaults to um, playing in mute. So by minimizing it, you can do it. And there's actually loads of ways you can do it. You can leave another video in the background going, but minimize it. There's a ton of ways, but I found that this to be the best way because it gives you an infinite opportunity to keep a muted channel open. And I wonder if, you know, if uh, Apple were to release a fix, would they actually try something like this, like embed something in the operating system where there's always one channel open at least? Uh, that would be an interesting way of tackling it. So um, that's something you can try if you're having this issue. Again, just go to QuickTime, File, New Audio Recording, and then just minimize it and you won't see the issue. It's really crazy that works. But otherwise, I think best thing to do is just uh, call out where you can you know just uh, say this is an issue um, even though individually as I've found you're unlikely to be heard unfortunately but it is good to be done I mean I do uh, if I go a bit cynical for a moment I did watch a ton of reviews on this product before getting it I mean it's a ton of money right I'm not rich this is an investment for me by any stretch of the imagination so I wanted to make sure I was buying something good and every single review I watched was absolutely glowing with I don't think a single negative although uh, looking back on it a lot of those reviews were essentially reading off the spec sheet rather than giving any meaningful idea of what the product was like and how it performed but again to be fair they didn't have too much time with it but I feel like if, especially if you're a YouTuber and therefore are likely to be editing videos on a uh, regular basis, then it seems as if at least one of them would have come across this, again, given the widespread nature of it. And no one seemed to mention it, but I thought, okay, are they are they just not mentioning it because they didn't notice it? So I managed to reach out to a couple of YouTubers and I asked them politely, would you mind checking this? Obviously many ignored me, uh, but I think one or two got back to me and actually said, yes, this is a problem. So I suppose it's just something that maybe it, it depends. Look, you know, again, if you're just using YouTube and you're noticing it, you probably don't consider this as a problem and I wouldn't consider it a problem if that's all I use my MacBook Pro for was to watch YouTube. But uh, as someone who does use Final Cut Pro quite a lot for this channel, basically, when I'm editing my gaming clips, which I do heavily on the audio side, uh, even though it probably doesn't come across like that, but I do, trust me, uh, is that's where it becomes a problem. So... Hopefully this video has been helpful if you've got a 16 inch MacBook Pro, maybe you can employ that uh, tactic of opening up the audio recording and leaving it. Um, but obviously the greater objective here is to raise awareness for this. And I really do hope you um, share this video. I never usually ask that, but I think this is important to share so as many people are aware of it as possible. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.